Hi, my name is Jen and I'm from the Biomedical Engineering Department at Worcester Polytechnic Institute. Today I'm going to show you a short video tutorial on how to load a sample for tensile testing using our Instron 5544 materials testing system and screw action grips. For a short video description of the different types of grips available and also a video tutorial on how to remove and install these grips, please check out our YouTube channel. For this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to load a rectangular sample. First, you need to set your safety stops. Use the keypad to jog the actuator until the grips are a little bit closer together than the length of your sample. Move the safety stop into place so that the grips will stop at this location. To load your sample, use the keypad to jog the actuator up to separate the grips until they are a little bit further apart than the length of your sample. Starting with the upper grip, use the screw knobs on the side of the grip to separate the jaw faces until they are a little bit further apart than the thickness of your sample. Insert your sample into just the upper grip and tighten the screw knobs to grip your sample. Using the markings on the sides of the carriage as a guide, use the screw knobs to make sure your sample is centered in the upper grip. Use the hex wrench to tighten the screw knobs on one side to prevent the sample from slipping during testing. To insert your sample into the lower grip, use the screw knobs to separate the jaw faces until they are far enough apart for your sample to slide in easily. Use the keypad to jog the actuator down until your sample is in the desired position in the lower grip. Tighten the screw knobs to grip your sample. Again, using the markings on the sides of the carriage as a guide, use the screw knobs to make sure your sample is centered in the lower grip. Use the hex wrench to tighten one side of the screw knobs to prevent your sample from slipping. You can now add a tear load, make any necessary measurements, double check your safety stops, and put up the safety shield, and you're ready to start testing.